Hey guys, it's Nick from bonbonsai.com and today I'm going to tell you some things that maybe you didn't know about bonsai. Now before I begin, I want to tell you about my bonsai ebook. And if you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt your bonsai, then make sure you go to the link above at bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Now, getting into the topic at hand, let's talk about some things you might have known, not have known rather. So, Bonsai is a personal experience offering a remarkable amount of personal satisfaction. Uh, you know, you can do this stuff for years and you can see a tree grow. And it's not just like you see one that you planted grow, it's one that you constantly tend and care for. You put a lot of time and effort into it and you can see a vision, an aesthetic, a style really pop out of a Bonsai. So, this is an art form that has become established pastime throughout a lot of the world. And more and more people come to understand the, uh, the hobby, you know, the fascinating hobby. But before you give away your creative to your creative urge and plant your first seedling, it might be interesting to explore some facts concerning bonsai and how, is a, how it's just evolved over time. Like, it, it's not always been just a bonsai and it's been, you know, this very zen kind of style or this, you know, it's become more westernized that is, as it's spread west. But uh, did you know that the origin of the bonsai while many people think the Japanese, actually came from China. Like many experts agree that the bonsai, or the painting in China, or in Chinese, was practiced by scholars, monks, and noble classes in China as far back as 600 AD. And now as a few centuries later, bonsai along with Zen Buddhism and much of a lot of other Chinese culture was brought to Japan, if I'm right, specifically the Wu Chinese culture. Because uh, I think it's the a Wu, I think it's the Wu dialect of Chinese that a lot of Japanese is actually based off of, or at least their writing systems. Now, um, you know, did you know that the word bonsai, so it's bonsai, uh, that's actually made up of two Japanese characters, bon meaning tray and sai meaning plant. So bonsai, pretty much a tray plant, or you know. Uh, tray planting or you know stuff like that pretty much you literally grow it in a tray now did you also know that an earthquake is responsible for shifting the epicenter of bonsai in japan so in 23 an 8.3 magnitude earthquake devastated the entire kanto region of japan it destroyed vast portions of two large cities tokyo and yokohama uh, along with the majority of the commercial bonsai businesses because that's that's the epicenter that was the epicenter now, as a result, the bonsai business community, in an effort to save their livelihoods, collectively purchased a tract of land outside of Tokyo, where their businesses once again flourished. Now, hence, uh, that's where a new epicenter came up. That's where bonsai cultivation like, changed where it was like mainly happening. Um, it's actually still right outside of Tokyo. Like, the epicenter of like, the, you know, the center of the bonsai world outside Tokyo to this day uh, and also did you know that in 76 the people of Japan in honor of the US bicentennial celebration so uh, what well, it presented to America 53 priceless bonsai and six remarkable viewing stones now these gifts were to become the foundation of the national collection this magnificent group is housed actually in the National Bonsai and Painting Museum located within the US National Arboretum in Washington DC it's actually become the largest like, collection of its kind, housing bonsai from around the world. Did you know that all plants have a botanical name, a name that's unique to them, and is often called their, uh, well, the botanical name? Uh, although some people refer to the term, uh, like Latin name or scientific name, I'm sure you've heard of the scientific name. Now, plant names are based on Latin language which is considered to be the universal language during the 18th century when a vast majority of the naming of newly discovered plants was taking place. So bon uh, botanical names are just descriptive names. They describe many characteristics specific to that plant, such as their place of origin, color, growth habit, leaf size, bark texture, and other things. That Did you know that displaying a bonsai is an art itself? The traditional elements of bonsai display include a bonsai uh, display tr uh, table or stand, an accent item, and a scroll. Each of these elements play a vital role in the display of constructing, generating, and producing an emotional and intellectual panorama. The bonsai is always and should always be the most important component of every display. So it's really everything else complements it. 
Uh, as you can imagine, uh, the foregoing is merely a fundamental insight into the world of bonsai founded on the communion with nature. I urge with all with an interest in this particular hobby to go ahead and create their own work of art. The principles of bonsai are simple and they are easy to apply and many invaluable teaching resources are readily available to assist. Many of them you can be found, well can be found on my site or if you're interested in learning how to prune, trim or sculpt your bonsai then you can actually go to my book that I have above. You can obviously see it in the video above but my site is a great resource and so is bonsai empire so if you're not going to go to my site go to bonsai empire they have a stupid amount of information there it is absolutely insane so that's all for this video i'm still trying out this new audio and i'm going to be making dozens of more videos and you can tell that it's the new type of video because of my audio so i'm still figuring all this out so sorry for any audio issues and i'll see you in the next one